At WUSA 9, we report on the environment because of the direct link to your health and your well-being, which brings us to a neighborhood in Columbia, Maryland, mm -hmm. where protesters are pretty concerned about their health. They're resisting a big chemical company's plans to build a plastic recycling research lab in their backyard. Yeah, but the company says the protesters' fears are really misguided and fueled by false information. Here's Scott Broom to explain. Grace is a Fortune 500 chemical company based on a campus in Columbia, Maryland, which is already the site of an active groundwater contamination cleanup dating to the 1980s. Grace plans to run their project. Grace was also the scene of a protest last week after the company applied for a state air emissions permit to build a small plastics recycling pilot plant in a laboratory building on the property. The permit application says small amounts of six toxic gases will be emitted from stacks on the building, including butadiene, a known human carcinogen. They are uh, planning to build that facility like really close. Vidanganasani is a mom who lives in the new Cedar Creek subdivision less than a quarter mile away. This disease. She has a life-threatening lung condition. She's also a PhD neuroscientist and she's terrified. It scares me. It gives me a lot of anxieties. What if my kids have to go through that? The respiratory, the, the idea that they'll have a respiratory illness, they might have it because someone is building a plastic processing facility near us, that scares me. And even more scary is I'm a breastfeeding mom. I'm, my, my younger one is still breastfeeding. What if something happens to me? But in a written statement, Grace says opponents are trafficking in false claims. The company compares the emissions from its proposed pilot plant to less than the emissions of a school bus driving a short distance. According to a Maryland Department of Environment memo, the company reports that emissions of butadiene would be only a tiny fraction of what's considered completely safe for workers to inhale on an eight-hour shift. Grace's permit application says it will burn off some of the residual left over from its chemical process, but in a statement, Grace says there will not be any incinerating or burning of plastics. Perhaps it's ironic that the whole point of the pilot plant is to test a new way to break down plastic for recycling, which the company says is designed to help the environment. <laughs> But the anxiety level is high. Protesters claim the public was cut out of the process because no one directly notified the neighbors of a public comment period that's now closed. Maryland's Department of the Environment is the decider here. A decision on whether or not to issue an air emissions permit is still in the works. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.